Hi there, this is Joe Pryor with virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City. And there was an announcement out of the government recently about the HARP program, H-A-R-P, that's Home Affordable Refinance Program. This is one of those government programs that was going to help rescue homeowners that were underwater on their mortgage uh, and maybe had some kind of a hardship but still had a job. Now, what it was supposed to do is really affect a lot of people, but in the last two and a half years, it's only had about, I believe, 838,000 mortgages that have been refinanced. So for those people who are underwater, there were some very, very strict requirements. And what the government's trying to do is loosen them up just a bit to incorporate more people. Uh, in other words, there was a limit on how underwater you could be. And, uh, and now there is no limit on that. Now, of course, in Oklahoma, that's not really our problem uh, is the way it might be in a bubble state. Uh, there may be a few people that this can help out, but it's not going to really affect financially distressed homeowners here. The, the other thing about the program that really is not changing is, number one, you have to have a job. Uh, the second thing is you uh, have to have made your last six payments on time as well as not have missed a payment or had a late payment in the last year. So for those people that are facing foreclosure, for those people that are chronically late, the changes in the HARP program are really not going to help you. Uh, and it may be one thing that you latch on to and say, hey, maybe this is something where I can refinance. But that is not going to be an option for you if right now, currently, you're 30 days late or greater because that means you've been late in the last year. So I don't want to dampen your spirits. I, I, I hope that there's other programs that may be forthcoming. Uh, but for right now, if you are 90 days late, 120 days late, chances are that eventually you're going to go into foreclosure. You're about to receive your uh, notice uh, since this is a judicial state that the uh, you're going to be sued in court uh, so that they have the right to finish the foreclosure. Those foreclosures are going faster and so you still need to seek out other options and that is where a qualified short sale realtor is going to be your best bet because we're going to be able to tell you if there's options other than the short sale and if there's not then the short sale is infinitely preferable to going into foreclosure. We can explain those reasons why and we do want to help you, but we also wanted you to have this current update on HARP. So if you need help, you can get a hold of me at joe at joeprior.com. You can contact us or you can get more information through our website for short sales and foreclosure. Uh, that is www.avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com. And uh, just know that uh, we're here to help you in any way. This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.